انا شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا پریویس کلاس اور ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن واز ہیومن ایکسکریٹری سسٹم ناؤ ٹوڈے لیٹ اس ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ویریس پارٹس آف ہیومن ایکسکریٹری سسٹم دیئر اسٹرکچر اینڈ دیئر فنکشن ایز یو نو دیٹ ایکسکریٹری سسٹم ان ہیومن بینگس انکلوڈس پیئر آف کڈنیز fear of ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Now let us discuss one by one. Kidneys. Kidneys, they are the main or primary excretory organs of man. They are two in number. They are bean shaped, reddish brown in color and are present in the abdominal cavity attached to the dorsal body wall, one on either side of the vertebral column. Each kidney, it is about 10 cm long, 5 to 6 cm broad and 4 to 5 cm thick in dia, weighing about 150 grams in males, that is it is weight is 150 grams in males and 135 grams in females. Outer side of kidney is convex and inner side is concave. You got my point? Outer side of the kidney it is convex and inner side is concave. On the inner concave side of each kidney is present a notch. Here is the notch which is called as hilum. Blood vessels you can see here blood vessels, nerves, they enter through it, through this notch and the urine leaves out through the ureter. The right kidney, the right kidney it is slightly lower than the left kidney because liver pushes the right kidney slightly downwards as the liver is towards the right side of the body. So taking up the place, the kidneys, they are connected, connected to two major blood vessels, renal artery and renal vein. These two blood vessels bring and carry the blood to the kidneys for the process of purification, cleaning the nitrogenous waste. As you know that there are many nitrogenous waste present in the blood. So cleaning the nitrogenous waste, excess salt and excess water, the renal artery which contains the oxygenated blood brings the blood to the kidneys. The blood contains the toxic materials like urea, uric acid, you know it, uh, urea, uric acid, ammonia, excess water etc. which enter into the kidney. So inside the kidney, the purification takes place. After purification, the blood, it contains only carbon dioxide, whereas the other waste materials are filtered by the kidney. So now this blood, it is carried to the renal vein, carried to the renal vein, by the renal vein to the heart. Again for pumping to lungs for oxygenation or decarboxylation. As far as the internal structure of kidney is concerned, outer part of the kidney, it is dark brown in color and is called as the cortex of the kidney. The inner or the, the center part of the kidney, it is called as medulla of the kidney. In the medulla of kidney, there are so many small units, the structural and the functional units of kidney, which are called as nephrons. So nephrons, they are small, fiber-like, coiled, thread-like structures which aid in the process of filtration. That is the filtration takes place with the help of these uh, thread-like structures, that is nephrons. So the actual filtration of blood, it takes place in the nephrons. So they are the active units inside the kidneys. Each kidney has got one to three to 1.3 to 1.8 million nephrons 
Nephrons of the kidneys form the urine with urea as the main nitrogenous waste. So main is ureotelic in excretion because the nitrogenous, main nitrogenous waste is urea. So now to, to understand the process of mechanism of filtration or excretion in the kidneys, these details are not enough. We need to study further more in detail about the functional unit of kidney that is the nephron. When we study the structure of the nephron, different parts of the nephron and the functions performed by each part of the nephron, then we can clearly understand the process of filtration in kidneys, which we will discuss later on in detail. So now this was all about the kidneys which were, are the main or the primary excretory organs of human excretory system. So it is enough for today. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.